Welcome back to another episode of my career mode summer signings episodes guys or series sorry and uh, today we're going to be doing Everton. Now I want to say really quick it's, it's difficult it really is because with the big teams like uh, Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal, United, you know Bayern Munich if you want Barcelona, Real Madrid you hear their rumours every day because they are the biggest clubs in, the, in world football and you know, you just hear about which players could be joining them in the summer where with, I don't want to be disrespectful, but with slightly lesser, bigger, uh, bigger clubs like Everton, for example, you don't really pick up on transfer rumours as much. So in a way, I'm going off, you know, players that I think would be great in game for, uh, for Everton, but also players that I think could possibly fit well into their team in real life who have the potential, and I say potential lightly, to possibly join them in the summer. It's unlikely maybe in some cases, but you know, this series is all about just playing around with names, who do you think would join, blah, 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 and talking about it and you know, trying to combine both real life football and FIFA. It's not easy, but in some cases, it's gonna be harder than others. And I think with Everton, it is quite a difficult one, but let me show you the team I've put together real quick. This is what I think is the strongest team that they can put forward from this season. That's Tim Howard in goal, Coleman, Jagielka, Distan and Baines, McCarthy, Barry, Morales, McGeady on the left, um, Barkley in the middle and Lukaku. Now, Aidan McGeady obviously joined in January and he's he hasn't quite proved himself yet, but because obviously we're doing FIFA stuff as well, McGeady is a fantastic winger, there's no doubt about it. Five-star skiller and uh, absolutely brilliant on the ball. Um, but that's because, you know, Pinar probably could be there, but I've put him on the bench. And there are other players that, you know, could be in the team like De Feo, but he is obviously going to be returning to Barcelona from his loan. So could Lukaku go back to Chelsea. So that's what the first thing I want to say is Everton need to renew their loans. They need to keep hold of Barry. So absolutely try and keep him, maybe loan him again or actually buy him. Um, I know his wage demands are higher than they want to pay, aren't they? So I don't know. Man City is going to help, I think. I don't know how that's going to work. But Barry has been instrumental for Everton and he has to stay. There's no doubt about it. Whether that means buying him or loaning him again, I sh I'm sure Everton will do that. Um, in terms of the defence, I think it's pretty strong. Maybe just an extra centre-back would help because of injuries. Both Jagielka and Distan are in their 30s, especially Distan. He's, 30, yeah, he's 35. Still a great player, don't get me wrong. But if he gets injured and so does Jagielka, you've seen with Everton, they, they don't look as strong without their main defenders. And I think... They would need some backup, and I've got just the person, and I will show you soon. Um, they obviously need to bring in a winger if De La Feo is going back, and also a striker potentially, because if they do lose Lukaku, they will lose Traore. He'll be going back um, to, is it Monaco? Um, I think that you know Kone would just not be enough, so they'd need to bring in Lukaku again potentially, or someone similar. And I found just the guy who is very similar, in, in fact basically the same if you know what I mean it's the same country you get, yeah you see where I'm going right anyway let's have a look at the the players that I've shortlisted who I think could do a great job both in FIFA and in real life for Everton Football Club so the defender I've gone with is Stephen Corker yeah I know a lot of people will be confused because he's just joined uh, Cardiff City this season but obviously Cardiff have been relegated and I think Corker was one of the best players for Cardiff and I don't think he deserves to play in the championship because I think he's better than that. He's a very loyal person. I'm not sure if he's going to actually leave or not. But I thought if he was to leave Cardiff this summer because they're in the championship and he wants to continue playing in the premiership, Everton could be absolutely perfect. He's exactly what they would need. And um, he, I don't think he would he would be, you know, anywhere worse off going to Everton. You know, he's, he's, he's going to go to one of the top five clubs in the Premier League, top six at least. Um, obviously this season top five which is fantastic so obviously I can't buy him because in this career mode he's just joined Spurs but um, I think if you wanted to pick him up you'd, uh, you'd probably get him for four million you know really 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 good value for money there because he is such a young player and he is very good so let's imagine I've bought Kulka okay you're gonna have to go with me on it Jack Rodwell yeah you guys remember him yeah he's the guy who left Everton to play for City well to get more money and barely played. I know he's been injured and stuff like that, but had he stayed at Everton, we'd be looking at a very, very good midfielder. But instead, he's the player everyone forgot about. It's quite sad, really. And I would absolutely try my best if I was, um, you know, the manager at Everton to try and get Rodwell back because he's perfect if they can't hold on to Gareth Barry. He plays in that same role. And I think ideally, 
could be exactly the, the right replacement they should get. And uh, I'm sure Rodwell would like to go back. I bet he regrets his decision massively in his lovely house with fast supercars and all that money rolling. He probably wipes his bum with money. Um, but yeah, I, I think Rodwell made a big mistake leaving and he should come back. Ben Teke. Now, the reason he's here is not because I think they should just buy him. I think if they can't, and I say if, they can't keep Lukaku on loan or actually buy him from Chelsea, which I think is very, very unlikely. I do think he'll be at Chelsea next year. They should go for someone who is similar. And I think Benteke, yeah, excuse the fact that he's he's also from Belgium, that they're very similar strikers, strong, tall and quick, and you know good at finishing and heading. Benteke is actually not just a good striker but he's he's just like Lukaku in terms of holding up the ball and that's what they would miss so I would go with Benteke and just for this episode I'm actually going to try and buy him because obviously the funds at Everton aren't that good on FIFA I'm looking at about 17 or 19 million I'm trying to see if there is a way around to do this but I think it's going to be difficult because you just can't raise the funds to buy you know possibly a 30 million player so unfortunately I don't think this is going to work actually um, well, what I could do is just offer what I've got <laughs> and just see what kind of response we get. I know this is a kind of a fail episode, but at least we're getting the chance to talk about it. And obviously you guys can leave your comments and tell me who you think they should go for. Now, the other player obviously that could possibly not be returning to Everton next year is Delafeo. Now, I would obviously love to see Everton get him back because it's great to watch him. But um, I'm pretty sure Barcelona will, will need him because obviously they have got the transfer ban lifted, but they will not want to be putting funds in wingers when they need to get defenders and you know possibly some midfielders. So I don't know about Delafeo coming back to to uh, Everton next year. So I, Tello is just I think a very good replacement. He plays out on the left, which I think they need because Morales plays out on the right. I think Pinar's getting on a bit now and maybe hasn't had the best season. McGeady, yeah, he's more of a right midfielder, but I guess you could bring him on on the left. But if not, grab Teo, because this guy, I think, is absolutely fantastic. So he's worth 7 million. You could probably pick him up cheaper than that. So just for the video purposes here, entertainment purposes, I'm going to offer 5 and see what we get back. But those, I think, are the best types of players they should bring in. I think Kulka and Rodwell would be great in real life. I think Benteco and Teo are more FIFA, you know, orientated. So forgive me if it sounds stupid. But obviously we do combine both FIFA and real life football in this series. Um, so yeah, I guess you could split those two. I think I think Corker would be a very good signing. Whether or not it would happen, I don't know. If there's any Cardiff fans following me, let me know if you think that's actually going to work or could work if it was to arise. But anyway, transfer off here for Pinar. We're not going to do that. I wouldn't sell any of the Everton players. I think they've all done so well this year. And uh, other than that, it's, it's a pretty easy decision on who to bring in and who not to. So they wanted seven, but now they've asked for ten. So that's pretty stupid. But why don't we go ahead and offer nine and see if they come back with a yes. Well, we got an offer back from Villa, Villa sorry, Aston Villa. They've off, uh, asked for 22 million, which is obviously more than we can afford. But actually, that's not too bad. So there you go. If you were to pick up Benteke first time at the season you start you're looking at 22 million as a standalone bid which is which is really good and I think that would be a great signing but obviously I've got Lukaku here because it's the start of the, se the season right but there you go they've accepted the 9 million shouldn't be too difficult to sign him because he's a sporadic player so you probably could go for squad rotation I'm going to go with important first team player because I would use him pretty much every game and um, I was thinking also guys about goalkeeper I was thinking about Tim Howard but then I realized He's been an absolute beast this season, you know? Oh, he loves living there and he doesn't want to relocate. So you're going to have to offer him more money, basically. I'll offer him 90 and a crucial first team player. Let's see if that convinces him. He's so young. He should want to come to England and play some games other than sit on the bench in Spain. Yeah, I thought he would accept that, bitch. 8.6 million left, £30,000 per week as well left as as a uh, backup bit of money, because I don't think I would need to actually spend that. If I was to do this career mode now, I wouldn't need to spend that, I don't think. But there you go, you switch in Teo like that, and boom, you've got a left winger. I think it's a very, very strong team. You know, Barry is a little bit old, but in, in real life, he's doing fantastic still for Everton. Definitely keep hold of him. You know, they've got arguably one of the best back four in the league with Coleman and Baines on the wings. You've got no problem with getting goals from defence. Got a very good, consistent goalkeeper. Just keep their um, their loaned players. They have to. That's an absolute must. 
And then just maybe one or two signings. Someone like Teo um, could be very good. And a striker uh, potentially if Lukaku and Traore do go back. And I think Everton would do fine. I think they will still come into the top six next year. Maybe not top five. I think this season's been a little bit of an odd one for most teams fighting for that kind of top eight. It's kind of been chopping and changing. But I do think Everton have a fantastic chance of getting into the top six next year. Maybe even top five again. But um, anyway, that's just my opinion. Let me know about yours, guys. Leave some comments. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. My internet should be working by the time you see this. So I'll actually be able to download the latest squads. And uh, we can do some more uh, teams then. So yeah, cheers for watching. And I'll see you next time.